from 125,000 divided by 40,000, difference is 85,219 divided from this the balance amount 414781. Your loan amount is to buy rate of interest is 15 percent by equal installment annuity rate 3.3520 your present value is 55650 12 percent interest 12 by 100 is 0.12 how many years 10 years hello my dear student i am dr b s subramanya call my name dr b s s Professor in Commerce and Management with Yashram First Trade calling a Temple of Excellence Mysuru. Today, in this session, I am going to have Financial Management, 5th Semester Unit 2, Session 1, BCom, in favor of Time Value of Money. What I am going to explain in this session, what do you mean by Time Value of Money? Loan amortization means loan repayment. How the loan will be repaid? A company has raised a loan of we five lakh from a financial institution at eight percent rate of interest, the amount has to be paid back in five annual equal installment. Calculate the annual installment and prepare the loan amortization schedule (PV factor) at eight percent one to five years is three point nine nine three. First, we have to calculate annual installment money total amount divided by discount factor. 5 lakh divided by 3.993, it work out 1 lakh 25,519. We'll start with year, loan amount, annual installment, interest of each installment, principal payment, balance of loan amount. What is the total loan? 5 lakh. How much you are paying installment? 1 lakh 25,219, which includes the interest. 40,000 here, what is the percentage you got? 8 on 5 lakh, 8 percent, 8 percent of 5 lakh is 40,000 from 1 lakh 25,000 deduct 40,000, difference is 85,219 deduct from this the balance amount 414781. What is the balance? 414781. This is constant. 1,25,219, then interest on 4,14,781, work out 33,182, from this figure deduct, difference is 92,037, the balance is 3,22,744, next year 3,22,744, your installment is 1,25,219, interest on 25,820 on 3,22,000, the difference amount is 99,399, the balance is 2,23,345, 2,23,345, your installment is 1,25,219, interest on this is 17,868, the balance 107,351 from this figure deduct the balance is 1,15,994. So, break down 1,15,994. We can put it here, the difference has interest. But if you calculate interest, there is a difference of 55. What we can do now, 1,15,994, we can put it here. The balance amount is, you have to pay the principal money of this. Whatever the difference comes, that is the interest from this. No, don't calculate. Directly, we can bring out the difference. Here, I have done the percentage. Not necessary. You can put the amount here. First, you write here. Repayment the full amount. Whatever the difference comes from 1,25, this one deduct. The difference will be the interest we can say. Understand? This amount. 1,15,994, you have to pay, what's your installment money? 1,25,219, whatever the difference comes, that is the interest. We'll move on, next, loan amount is 1 lakh, annual installment 38,105, 7% 3 years. Loan amount 1 lakh, second, 1 lakh, 38,105, 
seven percent of one lakh is seven thousand. If we deduct thirty one thousand one not five, the balance is sixty eight eight ninety five. Sixty eight eight ninety five. Thirty eight one not five. Seven percent is four thousand eight twenty two. The balance amount is thirty three thousand two eighty three. The balance amount loan to be paid thirty five six one two. Thirty five six one two. Installment money is thirty eight one not five. So interest on this two four nine three thirty five thousand six one two. You are going to pay. No balance amount. That last problem. Your loan amount is two lakh. Rate of interest is fifteen percent. Five equal installment. Annuity rate three point three five two zero. Loan amount two lakh divided this will get fifty nine thousand six sixty five. Two lakh to be paid every installment fifty nine. On this fifteen percent. Of two lakh thirty thousand balance twenty nine six sixty five the balance amount to be paid one lakh seventy thousand three thirty five third year balance one lakh seventy three thirty five every installment you have to pay fifty nine thousand six sixty five the balance amount is twenty five thousand five this is the interest on this the balance amount principal money thirty four. One one five. The balance amount to be paid one lakh thirty six two twenty. Come back fourth year one lakh thirty six two twenty. Fifty nine six sixty five is constant twenty thousand four thirty three. There's the interest on this. The balance amount thirty nine two thirty two. You are going to pay the principal money. The balance amount is ninety six thousand nine sixty eight. The balance to be paid. Every installment you are going to pay fifty nine six sixty five. Interest on this is fourteen thousand five forty eight. The principal money to be paid, repaid forty five one one seven. The balance amount is fifty one thousand eight seventy one. Fifty one thousand eight seventy. We can write it here. Fifty one. The difference is interest. Or if we calculate it, a meager amount of difference of. Minus thirteen will come. In more future value problems. Formula future value is equal to present value into one plus r to the power of t r present value into r to the power of n. Where t is equal to time, or n is equal to number of time, r is equal to rate. P V is equal to present value. Now, problem start one. If we deposit fifty five six fifty in a bank, which is paying twelve percent interest at ten year time deposit, how much would we deposit grow at the of ten years? In future value, how much money you are going to get? Your present value is fifty five thousand six fifty. Twelve percent interest, twelve by hundred is zero point one two. How many years? Ten years. Come back formula. Future value is equal to what is your present value? Fifty five. This is one plus R means point one two to the power of ten. Fifty five sixty one point one two to the power of ten. It work out fifty five six fifty into three point one zero five. It will work out one lakh seventy two thousand seven ninety three. Future value ten thousand at the end of three years twelve percent. Ten thousand twelve by hundred zero point time is three years. One point one two to the power of three. One point one two to the power of three. It work out one point four zero four multiplied by ten thousand. So you will get the future value of fourteen thousand forty. The present value problem. Present value is equal to future value divided by one plus r to the power of t or n. Mr. B has given an opportunity to receive. Twenty thousand after six years from now, the rate of interest is ten percent. Formula P V is called future value one plus R to the power of T. Your value is twenty thousand divided by one point ten percent is point one zero to the power of six. This is one point one to the power of six. It will come one point one seven divided. It will come eleven thousand two ninety nine is the future value. 
present value formula, future value divided. Now, the real present value is 11,299. From the following particular, find out the present value of future value of 40,000. After 8 years, rate of interest is 12 percent. Your future value is 40,000, 1 plus 0. 0.12 to the power of 8. 40,000, 1.12 to the power of 8. 40,000, it will work out 2.475. So, your present value become 16,161. After 8 years, it become 40,000. Mr. A deposited rupees 1,000 at the end of every year for 4 years and the deposit earns a compound interest of 10% per annum. Determine how much money he will have at the end of 4 years. So, your present value is 1,000. 1 plus R to the power of T, 1 plus how many years? 4 years. 3, 2, 1, 0. 1 1.10 to the power of 3. 1 1.10 to the power of 2. 1 1.10 to the power of 0. 1.10 to the power of 0. If it come 1.331, 1.21, 1. Anything to the power of 0 is 1. 1 1.1 to the power of 0 is this is 1.1 1 .1 R 1. So, 10,000, it will come 1 1.10 to the power of is 1.1. 1 .1. Anything to the power of 0 is 1. So, 1,000 into 4.6441, it will come 4,641. An institution pays a double amount invested in institution at the end of 8 years. Mr. X, who is interested to deposit with institute and wants to know that the effective rate of interest that will be given by the institution in case of rule number 72, 72 divided by how many years double now? The effective rate of interest for how many years? Here at the end of 8 years, it will come 9% in case of rule number 72. In the case of rule number 60, effective rate of interest 0.35, 69 divided by number of years, it will plus 0.3 C, 69 divided by 8, divided by 0 0.35. It is a rule, 72 and 69 rule is, effective rate of interest is 72 into number of years, 8 years. Then here, 0.35 divided by 69 divided by 8, plus 0.35. So it will work out 8.975 percentage. What is the present value of annuity? of 3,000 for 15 years at 4.5 percent compound interest per annum. Formula P is equal to A divided by I into 1 minus 1 divided by 1 plus I to the power of N. What is A? 3,000 divided by 0.045. 1 minus 1 plus 0.045 to the power of 15. This is if we divide 66,666 1 minus if we divide in 15 times, 1.9353, 6,666, 1, if we divided this, no, 0 0.5167, so 66,666 into 0 0.483, it will work out 32,218.63. Mr. Vasu invested 5,000 at the end of every year at 10% rate of interest. Per annum, state what amount will receive at the end of four years. So, future value, what amount will be future value is equal to A divided by R, 1 plus R to the power of N minus 1, 5000 divided by 10, divided by 1.10 to the power of 4 minus 1, 5000 divided by 0 0.4, 1.10 to the power of 4 minus 1. If we divide this, it is 50,000. 1.4641 minus 1, 50,000. If we direct minus 1, 0 0.4641, multiply 50,000, it will work out 23,205. A company plans to replace the existing mission after 10 years at a cost of 8 lakh. If the investment fetch 10% rate of compound interest, calculate the amount should be transfer to the sinking fund this is at the end of each year if they ask the sinking fund the formula future value is equal to 
8 a divided by r 1 plus r to the power of n minus 1 where amount is 8 lakh where a you have to calculate a divided by 0 0.10 1.10.10 to the power of 10 minus 1. 8 lakh. A divided by 0.10. 1.10 to the power of 10 is 2.5937 minus 1. This is 8 lakh into 10 is equal to A divided by this is now simplify this now. A into 1 if it minus this 1.5937 into a 8 lakh into 0 0.10 this become 80,000 divided by 1.597 it will work out 50,198 8 lakh into 0 0.10 is equal to a into 1.5937 80,000 divided by 1.5937 it works out 50,198. Oh, understand? So, all types of problems we have solved present value, future value, future value of vanity, rule of 72, rule of 6, everything is solved. Hope you understand. We will have some more problem in the next session. Till then, goodbye. Meet in the next class.